The finally block, which I demonstrated in a previous video, is how you always cleaned up resources in versions of Java prior to Java 7. But in Java 7, a new syntax was introduced that's called try with resources. I'll demonstrate it in this project, starting with the try catch finally architecture that I used before. In order to use try with resources, you take instantiation of resources that need to be cleaned up and you move them into a pair of parentheses after the try keyword. In my code, that means the file reader and the buffered reader. So to change to the Java 7 syntax, I'll place the cursor after the try and I'll put in a pair of parentheses. And I'll make a little bit of space between them. Now, I'll take my declarations of the file reader and the buffered reader and I'll cut and paste that code into the try call. I'll also take the code that's instantiating the classes and move those as well. So I'm reducing the amount of code it takes to instantiate these objects, grouping the code together, and setting it up so that these objects will be cleaned up automatically regardless of whether my code throws an exception. Now I'll go down to the bottom of my code and I no longer need this finally block. It's completely irrelevant. For the moment, I'll just comment it out. I'll press Control A to select all of my code and then Control I to automatically reset the indentation. And now I'm ready to test. I'll save and run the code and I see that I successfully read the content from the text file. I'll change the name of the text file to an inaccurate file name. I'll save and run again and I see the error message from the exception that's thrown and the message still alive. So I can see that I'm successfully continuing to execute the application. This verifies that I no longer need the finally block, so I'll delete it completely. I'll do a little bit of manual re-indentation to clean it up and make it a little bit easier to read. And now my code is complete. By using this new try with resources syntax, you'll significantly reduce the amount of code it takes to clean up your resources after executing code that might throw an exception. Now again, this only works in Java 7. If you're working in Android, or in Java 6 or prior, you won't be able to use this syntax, but it is available in Java 7 and later.